Food security specialists suggest that some people are not getting the full food share benefits they are entitled to. For some people, income deductions might be available. You may be eligible for increased food share benefits if you are over age 60, blind, or have a disability, and are currently receiving food share benefits, and have existing medical expenses that you pay for out of pocket. Maximizing food share benefits can be of particular importance now that emergency allotments in food share have ended. Typically, food share benefits are determined based on somebody's income and household size, so finding ways to reduce available income could yield more benefits. Some people overlook allowable income deductions as a way to reduce your income, and these are those allowable expenses that can be subtracted from your income. The types of deductions could be of a couple different types. It could be a one-time expense, like a medical cost that is not repeated, a doctor's visit, a hospital bill, or a bill for dentures. It could be a repeating expense, like a monthly prescription that's filled every single month. It could be a payment plan. We give examples on the screens of types of income deductions, and these are just examples. There are more. It could be the prescription drugs and over-the-counter medications that you are paying for, medical supplies, eyeglasses, dentures or dental bills, exercise equipment, even transportation costs. You need to prove the expense. To receive a medical expense deduction, you must send proof of your medical expenses to your local income maintenance agency. You're going to want to include the name of the person receiving the medical service, the date of service, the name of the provider, and the cost. There are a couple of ways to prove the deductions, medical bills, receipts, statements from medical providers, or statements from pharmacies. Now remember, not every medical expense will result in more food share benefits, and a member must have out-of-pocket medical expenses of at least $35 to get a deduction. The local income maintenance agency you are working with will be helping you to make sure that you are maximizing your food share benefits when you provide this information. In the description below, we share with you information on how medical expense deductions work in the food share program and how to contact your local income maintenance agency.